Hello there. Welcome to your local community library. Um, are you the new family who just moved into our neighborhood here? Great. Um, so I see that you have brought in your um, three children and are you wanting to sign up for a library card? Okay, yes, great. Um, so this is the Sunflower Community, so Sunflower Library, and what are the odds? My name is Sunflower, last name Palm Tree. Uh, I'll be more than happy to go ahead and uh, sign you four up for a library card. Now, um, you must be their parent. Um, let's go ahead and just uh, create. All right, since you are the parent, I'm gonna go ahead and sign you up first for the library card. Now, what is your first name? Last name? And a uh, good email? And a good phone number. And if I can get um, just like a secondary uh, phone number or a secondary email, just in case if we can't reach you. Okay, a second email. Perfect. And what is that email? And then your date of birth. Okay, so then we're adding your children into your account uh, because how old are they? Okay, so 17, 15. And how old? Oh, okay, so um, since they are 21, they actually will get their own card. They don't have to be underneath you since they're over the age of 18. So your 17 year old, when uh, they are 18 or older, they will pretty much break off from underneath your account. So then they can go ahead and have their own account with the public library. But let's go ahead and just, since we're on your account right now, um, you being the parent, let's go ahead and add your 17 year old and your 15 year old. And what is uh, your 17 year old's first name? And uh, do they have an email or do you want to just use yours? Yours? Okay. One more time, I'm sorry. What was that email? Perfect. And then uh, phone number the same, I'm assuming. Great, so then I just need the date of birth. Perfect, okay, now your 15 year old. What's their name? Same email, correct? date of birth. Okay, great. So then those, so those cards uh, will uh, go ahead and get those printed for you. Um, in the meantime, you guys can take a look and I can go ahead and show you what we have. And just uh, really quick, let's go ahead and enroll your 21 year old 
What is your first name? Email. And a phone number. And do you have a secondary email or second phone number that we can reach? You add if just in case we can't reach you at the first email. Okay, so you do have a secondary email. Okay, what's that email? Perfect. And your date of birth. Gonna go ahead and finalize these. I'll go ahead and print out those library cards. Uh, I don't know if you wanted to have your uh, kids library cards linked with yours meaning just one for the three of you or did you want one separately? One one separately? Okay I can do that. So then I have sent that off. Um, our gals back here in the office, they're going to go ahead and print those out and as soon as they um, are done, I will let you know. Or when you come out to uh, check out for books, we can definitely do that for you. So I have a few options of books and I also have some movies. So I want to know, what are you into? Okay. So you are all into psychological thrillers, huh? Okay, that's pretty easy. Um, I have tons of psychological thriller crime kind of books and uh, I do have also here some books that are, for example, uh, self-help kind of books, self-motivating books. This one as well that is uh, called Burnout, The Secret to Unlocking the Stress Cycle. And we also have this one, which is a popular one, uh, The Gift of Imperfection by Brene Brown. She's a really good author. So we have those. And this one. It's a good one. This one's a popular one as well. It gets checked out pretty often. This one is more like a, a cookbook kind of thing. Also has like recipes and things like that. Also this book that was donated to us. Not entirely sure, but it looks like this one's about yoga. So it seems kind of like maybe self-meditating. This one's the science of self-realization. This book is, you're more than welcome to donate books as well. If you have some at home, we'll be more than happy to take it. If it's in great condition, even better, but we will take any book. We also have this book by Jennifer Lopez. It is called True Love. She is one beautiful woman, I will tell you that. <laughs> Not bad for someone in her 50s. So there's like pictures about her, her life. Pretty much it's, you can pretty much say it's 
biography book in a way, but it's a really good book. I've read it twice. <laughs> Now, I have tons of psychological thrillers for you. I have read this one. It's by Natasha Preston, The Lake. This one's a pretty good book. I have this one, The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. This one as well. Quite a bit of pages. This one's by Alyssa Cole, when no one is watching. This one is by AJ Finn, The Woman in the Window. Quite a few pages. <laughs> and then these two are by Lisa Gardner. We have Before She Disappeared, and we have here The Neighbor. I have read all of these books so far that I've told you. And now we have, so this one's our, uh, one of our newest ones in the library. This one is The Therapist. Uh, this one's by B.A. Paris. I have not read this one yet. This one is also new in our library. This one's called Such a Quiet Place by Megan Miranda. Not read this one either. This one is fairly new. I have not gotten to this one yet. <laughs> the Hunting Party by Lucy Floyd. And that's Floyd. And that's how you say her last name. These are all by Cherie LaPena. So far she's pretty good. I like her, I like her a lot. So there is this one that, I just finished reading this one, The Couple Next Door. It was pretty good, I liked it. It's got its little twists and turns. And then I've read this one as well. This one is Someone We Know, same author, Sheree LaPena. I'm actually currently reading this one, Sheree LaPena, the end of her. Then we have, this one I have not gotten to it yet. It's new as well in the library. Not a happy family. And I like how it's hardcover. I like hardcover books. And then we do have some DVD movies. We have some here. These are based on a true story movies category. We have this one, um, The American Sniper. We have Take the Lead. This one was my favorite when I was a teenager. Long ago, it's my favorite. This one is Coach Carter, also another favorite of mine when I was growing up a long time ago. And then this one's Glory Road. The 
this one's a favorite of mine as well. The blind side. And we have Sully. So we have those to choose from. And we have tons of comedy. We have a lot of that. I'm going to show those. This one is Cop Out. Welcome home, Roscoe Jenkins. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Miss Doubtfire. Runner. And uh, Longest Yard. And then we have these two. Date night, and we have a Blu ray, the other guys. So, you guys are more than welcome to check out the DVDs or books, and you can take a look, and I'll be more than happy to check you out. All right, so I see that you guys have a lot of books, got some movies, and I have your library cards. So the red one just means that you have minors underneath you. And then this one is just a regular library card that you're on your um, own account. So I have these two here. And so should we just check out what is yours and your um, kids underneath you? Okay, great. So I'm going to turn this on. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and scan. And then also insert to card. And we can begin checking out. So this one is yours, the parent, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and scan that and let me give you the book. Okay, so this one is yours and then this one is for your 17 year old. Okay, uh, you got some good books. Let me know what you think about this one. So I haven't gotten to that one yet. There's that. There's this one. Uh, is this one for the 15 year old? Oh yes, I can see that you're a movie person and a book person, but hey, you got one and that is great. So this book, I really hope you enjoy it. I think you will. I think you really like the book. So this one. Just this up. Just gotta make sure that it's not scratched in. This is such a great movie. I think you're going to really enjoy it. This one too. I think you'll really like it. So then that is it for this one. So movies are seven days and books are three weeks. Okay, so then let's go ahead and do the last one. So this one is actually gonna be swept. So let's put your library card here. Ooh, the couple next door. You're gonna like that. I just finished reading that one. Ooh, do let me know what you think about these two books. Please let me know because I want to read these next. Ooh, this one too. Let me know what you think about this one. Alright. 
so then same thing books they are three weeks so you have enough time to read them if you do need to renew you can always call and give us your name or also just the number um, that is behind your library card and we can renew it for you or you can also do it online you can also um, come in and we can do it for you all right so here's that Okay, so then you are all set. Thank you so much for stopping by and welcome to your local public library. And I hope you enjoyed the books. If you need anything, you can let us know. We are happy to help. And welcome to the neighborhood. Bye.